one eternity later. Welcome to this episode of Metal Jive and Black. I'm Nick. I'm Sam. So Nick, what do we got going on in this episode? So in this episode, we've kind of come up with something. Um, we're going to call this Miss Piggy's Night Out, Drunken Pork Chops, and Pineapple Skewers with Brown Butter and Apple Juice Glaze. Mm, yes. Cheers. Cheers. Let's get to cooking. Up the irons. And Joe, oh, I'll yes. thinking about you this week, our ex-guitar player. Yes, our ex-guitar player is going through some stuff right now. And we want to wish him all the best. So, Joe, if you're watching this, buddy, this butt's for you. Cheers, buddy. All the best. Okay, Nick, but before we get started on this fantastic meal, we want to ask all our viewers to hit that subscribe, ring that bell if you want to get notified when we release a new episode. And yeah, if you want to take it the extra mile, share our stuff up. We got some killer stuff coming down the line. Okay, that's crazy. All right, Nick, you ready? Let's do it. All right, so for these drunken pork chops, we're gonna try something kind of interesting. Um, I've seen this done with steak and red wine, uh, so I just thought to myself, we're gonna try it with white wine and pork chops. So you have to get a cedar plank, and it's very important to get one with the grooves, and the only ones I've been able to find is the Napoleon one that has them. So we're gonna pour wine into the grooves when we put this on the barbecue. Normally you soak this for, if you're doing cedar planks, you soak it for a couple hours and then you put your stuff, you salt it. But because we're going to put white wine in it, we're gonna put this on, put the white wine in. Once it starts smoking, we'll throw the pork chops on, close the lid and let it cook slowly so you get a nice cedar flavor and then the steaming of the white wine going through. And once it's all finished and it reaches the temperature, about the 160, we're gonna take it out, reverse sear it, I think it's going to be fantastic, but we're going to see. Back in the garage today because another rainy day, so uh, we're using the old broil mate. So we get this about to 250 to 300. We're gonna put this on right now. We're gonna pour the wine into the grooves. Let it all start to steam. And as soon as we start smelling some of the smoke in the cedar, we'll put the pork chops on. So Sammy, let's uh, get this on. We slowly start pouring some of the wine. So we wanna fill up the grooves here. So we got the meat eater set for 145. And now it's just a matter of Putting the chops on, and they're already starting to steam, and that's it. So now we're going to start the pineapple skewers. First step is we're going to make the glaze. Once we got the glaze done, we're going to cut the pineapples into chunks. Now I'm just using a part pineapple. You can buy a full one 
take all the skin off, cut them into chunks of what you want, whatever is easier and depending on how many people you're cooking for. Once we cut them into cubes, we're going to put them into the glaze, mix them all together. Once they're all mixed together, that was almost a blooper, Sandy. Once we mix them all together, we put them on the skewer, onto the grill at around medium heat. Till it's six to ten minutes, they got to get kind of brown. Take them off and hopefully they taste bellissimo. So as you can see, once it gets to a syrup, we have to pour it in to a bowl. And then we add a tablespoon of lemon juice. Obviously, if you can get fresh lemon juice, it's better. I didn't have any today, so I'm using just normal lemon juice. We stir this all up. So we put a tablespoon of lemon juice. So now once you put your lemon juice in, you just stir it up so it's all combined. It smells pretty good. What do you think of the garage, hey? Mm. The pork smells awesome. We're at, uh, right now we're at 136 and our target is 145. So we're almost there. So this glaze looks beautiful. You wanna have a little taste? Mm. Let's try a little pinky. Mm. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. It's beautiful. That is something very else. Good. So, oh, Holy that's smokes. really good. That's going to be Holy so good. Smokes. So, we're going to cut up the pineapple into cubes, put it into the glaze, mix them all together, start putting them on the skewer, and then off to the grill. All right, so we got all the pineapples cut into chunks. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to put them into the mixture and just drop them in. And once you got all the pineapples in, we just mix it all together and coat them. Then we put them on a skewer, take them out to the barbecue, grill them until they get about, they say about, I said they say, I went almost through this whole time without saying it, sorry Sammy. The recipe calls for, uh, when they get brown, usually about six to 10 minutes, time for them to come off and uh, we're ready to eat. Meanwhile. Our first feature presentation. A band from Chile. Mariano Vergara Band.
know I keep saying this video after video. It smells freaking awesome in here, hey Sammy? Smells like a cedar sauna. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. The smell is beautiful. Uh, again, do this, oh, it's so good. So these are ready to come off. What we're gonna do now is I'm gonna take them off, get this thing up high, reverse sear it, and then we'll take them inside. The reason we're gonna reverse sear this is to give it a nice crust and just give it a nice char to it. Obviously, you don't have to, but all meat tastes better charred. And this is a beautiful piece of pork chop. Oh, Sammy, oh my God. Oh, it smells beautiful, bro. I can't wait to dig into this. So let's, uh, we're at just over 400. We're gonna stick them on now. So what we're gonna do now is these beautiful, I'm trying to keep Sammy away, he's trying to get his hands in, they're not ready yet. So on the skewers, we're gonna put them onto the flame, let them cook for about six to 10 minutes. Okay, yeah, it looks fantastic. Um, oh, first off, what's this? Just some simple apple cider. A little slice apple of cider that. with some slices of apple. Thick. Fantastic. Mm. <sighs> Very refreshing. So, mm, it smells fantastic. Get that in there. Oh, it's nice and juicy. Ready? Cheers. Say perduto. You can definitely get a hint of that. I can taste the cedar. The cedar. And it's steamed. Mmm, so good. Holy shit. Mmm. Miss Piggy, you did good. We took this out at 145. You could have took it out at 140. Hey? Mm -hmm. All right. All right. It's perfectly cooked. Oh, I got another piece. Oh, shit. This is so delicious. Mm. Oh man. Mm. We didn't even over really uh, season it. We didn't need it. Oh, it's good. Oh my god. Hmm. Wow. Pretty delicious. I was right. But everything's so subtle. Mm. Right. It is subtle, but it is but so perfect. perfect. If there's any more, any less, you can lose it, but. The perfection is just how subtle it is. I mean, it really just brings the flavor of the pork right out. Oh, wow. Bring it up. Fantastic. I love the apple. All right. Mm. This drink is so good. It's nice. Wow. 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 Anyways, it's nice. Anyways. Ready? All right, buddy. Let's out. Cut the iron. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my god, this just took pineapple on another <laughs> level. Wow. I've never I've never actually uh, cooked fruit, but this is like so amazing. You just opened my world. Try it with a piece of pork. Mm. Really, really good man. Mm. Oh my god. Well. Mm. This, is, this <laughs> is beyond good. This is unbelievable. Holy smokes, buddy. Mm. 
Cheers, Snipper Doodle. Wow. That was freaking awesome. So I was gonna get a... You gotta try this. Unbelievable. We got a lot of cool stuff coming up. Wow. We're almost into the little piglet, but that was fantastic. This thing would be proud. Oh. Cheers. Very awesome. Up the irons. Up the irons. Thank you everybody for helping us out, subscribing, watching. And if you really like our stuff, give us a share, you know, spread the word. We're trying to reach a goal of a thousand so that we can get monetized and become a real YouTube channel. So happy. Thanks I want to finish up all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Till next time. Till next time. You got to go through though. Go ahead. Welcome back to Metal Chopping Block! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Metal Chopping Block! I'm Nick. I'm Sam. Nick, what the heck we got going on this weekend? So, <laughs> so today we're <laughs> going to do... Uh, Actually, it's weekend. weekend. No. No. <laughs> we're going to cut them into cubes, put them, on, uh, put them inside the... Uh... <laughs> no. Sammy, we're ready to eat. Pronto? Oh shit, Nick. It wasn't recording. Our one subscriber who said one of us looks like a prick, I know who the prick is. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alright, right, stop filming right now. Huh? We're, we're filming, filming right now. Oh. Okay, but. Oh. Yeah, you see, we're filming right now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. You want to meet here? No. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, here. how are you? Here. Take a taste. So, here. So, we just got a video got... bomb by Nick's <laughs> father here. He's got a sweet tooth here. And he like, he can Try smell this. the food. He Tell... knows where the good stuff is. <laughs> he, comes, <laughs> he comes after you. You want me here? Our second feature Louisiana infused metal or magnitros.
our last feature presentation. Lord of the Tridents. you want to hear the rest of the album right now, months before it's released to the public, you can get it for $5 exclusively at our Patreon, patreon.com slash Lords of the Trident. You'll also get three other full-length albums, 20 plus singles, and countless fully mixed live bootlegs from performances all around the world. All that just for five bucks. Oh, and by the way, if you're watching this in the future when the album is already out, that deal is still in effect. You can still pay five bucks and get the full album, the last three albums, all the singles, everything. We often get asked the question, hey, what's the best way to support you guys so you keep the majority of the money? Should we listen on Spotify? Should we download on iTunes? Should we buy the album? And honestly, 
the best thing to do is to sign up for the Patreon because nearly 100% of that money goes directly to the band to help us create more music videos to tour further and to help make more cool things for you guys. We make all these music videos ourselves, we record everything ourselves, and it's because of the amazing support of you guys on Patreon that we are the number one most funded independent metal band on the platform. So please consider joining our Patreon at patreon.com slash Lords of the Trident. Thanks for listening and watching. We'll see you next time.